Hey, it's Corey with Freedom Investing Group, and it's time for another tale from the trenches. Dun dun dun. Today, I'm going to actually talk about a happy story uh, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, something that happened at one of our parks about a year ago, um, shortly after we closed on it. I'm going to change the name of the tenant for her privacy, but um, anyway, right after we closed on, on one of our parks, we had someone reach out to us. They just they were. Um, looking for a place to move their home to. Um, I'm going to call her Sandra. Sandra reached out and she had lived, she owned her own home and had lived in the same mobile home park for, gosh, I think, I believe she said 17 years. And the park was closing. It was getting redeveloped into something else, which is what happens when parks don't generate enough revenue so that it, it becomes real tempting for a lot of a lot of places to, to sell to someone who wants to redevelop it into something else. I don't know what they were going to develop it into. A used car lot, a warehouse, who knows. Um, but they gave notice to all the tenants in the park that they were going to have to leave. And she was in full-on panic mode. She had something like 40 days left or something to get her home out. Or she was going to lose her home that she had invested in. Um, and, you know, and lived in for almost two decades. Um, she was a nice lady in her 50s. Uh, she worked in the healthcare industry. Her husband worked at one of the local golf courses in the area. Very nice couple. Their kids were grown and gone. Um, and they were just trying to figure out a way that they could they could find somewhere that they would like to be that they could move their home to. And the, the, the area that this is in is having, like a lot of areas, a huge affordable housing crisis. There's not enough housing. It's really hard. She was having a hard time finding somewhere she could move. Fortunately, we had just closed on this park, and we happen to have an empty lot with utilities ready to go. Um, and we, we had actually been talking about how we're going to fill this lot. So um, it, it was a, a, a pretty cool, good coincidence, um, the way things worked out. And so we were able to help her. She didn't have enough money to move. It was something like $12,000 to move her home. She didn't have the money to move it on her own. Um, so we were able to help her with some of the moving costs. Uh, we were able to help her with some of the moving costs, which she uh, paid us back uh, over time as she could. And um, and we got a new tenant who's proven to be a great tenant. Um, and she got a place to live where she didn't have to lose her home. It, it was actually like a really cool story. We, we managed to figure out how, to the, how the, local, the local jurisdiction works as far as the installation permits and we got all the utilities inspected and and um she she moved in and and was just ecstatic after she moved in and sent us a really nice note about um how she, how appreciative she was that we'd helped her and and it was actually she helped us too because we want occupancy to be full obviously so uh, it was a really cool win-win situation good feel good uh good feel good moment when she sent us a, a really nice note um about how how thankful she was and so uh sandra if you're out there hope you're still enjoying the community and um yeah cheers everybody